Hello everyone and welcome back to another Ultimate Iron Man episode. On the last episode, I had to get 60 mining for Lunar Diplomacy and I did it all in Motherload Mine so I got some Golden Nuggets. So my plan right now is just to get enough Golden Nuggets so I can get the full Prospector Kit. For the full kit, I need 180 Golden Nuggets so I'll probably be here for a while. But yeah, so in the last episode, I was actually smelting um, all the gold ores and some of the uh, the mithril ores that I got. But I don't think I'm going to do that for this one just because um, it's I, th I think it's sort of a waste for me to get the nature ruins and have to smelt everything. So I actually have enough to buy some of these. Um, I think I'll get the uh, jacket first. I'll probably go from the most expensive to the least expensive, but that is one down. As it turns out, I'm not going to get the full prospector's outfit. Um, I want to do something else, so we're going to stop here. I will get another piece though because I have 51. Um, kind of, I mean, I'm going to have to drop one, but that's fine. 60, 50. So we'll get the legs. And I will just drop this because it's not really worth it just to keep one. Okay, I wanted to do something fun, so I decided to grind out some easy clue scrolls. I would actually do mediums and hards, but um... I don't have the construction level to uh, store all the uniques that I can get. And I really like collecting collection logs, so uh, I want to be able to store the rewards if I get any. Hey, we just got the first casket. Let's actually open this. Oh, we get purple sweets. I guess that's nice. Man, the purple sweets are so expensive nowadays. How much is it now? 12k, almost 13k. Getting 99 thieving has been one of the best decisions I could have made for this account. Uh, if I didn't have any thieving and I'm like uh, thieving the ham guards, they would be stunning me, they would kick you out of the um, the hideout, you could also go to jail, so it's really nice that I don't have to deal with all that. And I got a clue scroll pretty fast. It was like one inventory since I got back. I guess for now it will be um, kind of slow since I don't have any of the stashes uh, made. Here is another casket. Oh, we actually got something. Oh wait, did I get this one before? I think I did. Well, that is a drop to my uh, regular account. I was trying to save up 10 caskets, but uh, I just opened this one. Uh, no unique, so. I just finished getting uh, 10 easy clue scrolls, but uh, I actually was wrong. I could actually store medium uh, clue scroll rewards here. So after I open this, I think I might move on to mediums. Honestly, for easy clue scrolls, the ones I want the most would be like the wilderness cape and also the cape of skulls, which uh. I can't find here, but it should be somewhere. I'm pretty sure you could store that too. Uh, let's see. Am I blind or? Sinhaza, Slayer Cape, Soul, Victor's Cape, Wilderness Cape. Can you not store the Cape of Skulls? Oh wait, it says treasure chest. So it should be here in the easy ones. I was looking for it earlier, but I couldn't find it. So I think I'm just blind. There it is, Cape of Skulls. That's the one I want to. Okay, let's open this up, see if we get anything nice. No. We got an Asian page. Fire lighters. Okay, four more. Oh, Iron Full Helm T. Willow Lombo, more Firelighters. Lunar Isle Teleport. Okay, one more casket. Ooh, Wizard Robe G. Oh, I think that's the first one I have. Um, the other ones is Black Wizards. Okay, this is where I'm gonna grind out the medium exclusive scrolls. Uh, I'm just gonna wait until my aggression goes off. I'm pretty sure even though you have 99 thieving, you can still fail uh, pick, pick locking the chest and whatever. And for this method, you want to have no aggression when you teleport out, so I'm going to wait. I completely forgot the best method to get medium clue scrolls is actually through Hunter with the um, Eclectic Implants. It is only 50, and we have 53 Hunters, so I'm going to go and actually do that instead of this. While we're here, I can go and store the Blue Wizard G and the Iron Wilhelm T. Now we have like five or something. There it is, the first medium clue scroll. Let's see what is the first step. Ulzer, Uzer, or however you say it. 
The second step for this clue scroll is I need to get to this mausoleum, which I'm pretty sure I could do because I did do... I did the creature of Frankenstein, right? I'm pretty sure that's the quest you need to be able to get in there. Where's the quest thing though? Yeah, okay, I completed it. I'm pretty sure I have to go under here, I believe. I need to get a Mithril, Pisker, and Meeple Lombo though. Oh, that one didn't take that long. That was like... The 4 or something? I, I don't know. But it wasn't that. It wasn't that long though. Let me uh, fill this up and then let's open this casket. Alright, let's see what we can get for the first medium clue scroll. Or clue casket. And nothing. It's going to be another clue stash filled out. I was actually going to wait until I had 10 uh, caskets, but uh... I'm really impatient, so let's open it up, see what we get. Hey, we got Guthrie's page 3, but nothing else. Firelighters. Oh, Leprechaun hat. Oh, it's so tiny. I need to make a ring of forging for this clue, so I'm gonna mine some gem rocks and hopefully I get it soon. I'm actually gonna try to get the ruby ring from uh, the ham store rooms instead. Another casket. And nothing. I just want to get two more medium clues done. Um, I'm on eight right now, and I want to make it even to a ten. So uh, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna kill some guards until I get another clue scroll. I know it is slower than doing the implings, but uh, I could train combat this way too. Hey, we got one. That actually didn't take that long. Forty-eight kills. This casket will have a unique. It does not. Holy, that one was fast too. Where are we now? 53? I think we were at, what, like 48 or something? That is another medium casket done. Let's open it. Oh! Oh, hey. We actually got something. But the crier hat is pretty cool. It's pretty nice. That is a subquest for Pirate P completed. Time for another quest. Gonna do the Land of the Goblins. I finally know what these uh, bushes are for. It's for this quest. Ooh, we can now transfer into a goblin. This is pretty cool. I haven't done this quest, so uh, this is all pretty new to me. But which one should we choose? Nice, now we're a goblin. Now we get a name? Earthbones? I guess you could choose it. Uh, guess again. Thin hands? No. Lump neck? No. <laughs> Ugly legs? I might. Stupid toes? Oh, I like that one. Stupid toes. We're now Stupid Souls the Goblin. That's that quest done. Land of the Goblins is completed. That gives us a uh, pretty nice uh, herbal XP too. I almost died during this quest because um, the uh, the last boss was kind of tough and I ran out of food. I still had some prayer, but I was like 11 HP. I, I definitely could have died. I risked it though and yeah, it worked out in the end. So it's, it's all good. Okay, I missed the level, but I just got to 70 wood cutting. So I've been thinking about this a lot lately and I really want to change the direction of my account. So originally, my plan was I was going to get or I was going to try to get the quest cape before I do any like Slayer or PVM. But I think I'm going to start to do more Slayer and other PVM related stuff. Because the thing is, I can still do quests, you know, it's really not a problem. I think doing it this way will just make the account more enjoyable for me. Like I've been wanting to get the um... What's it called? Yeah, I've been wanting to get like the defenders, I've been wanting to get the rune crossbow, and doing like the new bosses like Scurrious. Um, there's also a uh, new Varlamore content that just came out like three days ago. So yeah, I think it would be really neat if I could start doing more combat stuff. Obviously, I can't really start right away. Um, I still don't have like the bear's gloves. Uh, there's other quests that I want to get done before I really start. But yeah, that is once again change of plans. Oh yeah, and I'm woodcutting because I want to get to 75 woodcutting uh, for the magic logs. Uh, I want to do Desert Treasure next. I know I could do like Winter Todd or the um, the Legends Quest method, but I'm just going to do woodcutting because I'm going to be busy for a while. I also just found out um, you could actually store the forestry kit now. Um, I tested it out. I saw it in the uh, storage, I think the magic storage. I tried to put the, uh, the forestry kit into the storage and I was able to store it with like all the stuff that I already have. Um, I do have some anima and some leaves. I am gonna have to drop this hard clue because I'm not gonna be able to get rune boots. But we have a beginner casket and a medium one so 
Let's see if we can get a medi- I mean, a unique. No. And no. I just died. <laughs> I... Well, I, I fully forgot that the hard clue that I was doing was going to have a Cyrodoman wizard. So I didn't bring any food, I didn't bring any anti-poison, and I panicked Telly to my house. I was like 13 HP, I went down to 4, and I died inside my house, but it looks like I'm safe. I'm pretty sure if I lost stuff from Arno, it would tell me, but I'm just gonna go and check real quick. Cool, I still have my stuff, so I guess dying in my house doesn't count. Alright, let's see what we get here from the hard clue casket. There it is, that is 75 woodcutting and we can now cut magic logs. From the woodcutting grind, I got some sturdy beehive parts, so uh, it looks like you can high alk it. So let's see if that's true. It high alks for 3k each, which is actually really nice. 3,000 each. So pretty good. And we did also get some pheasant tail feathers, which you can make into an outfit. Um, the outfit doesn't really do anything, it's more of just fashion scape, but I can make it, I believe it's 15 per piece. And I'm missing like one more piece that I can make. So let's make the top, I mean the headgear, we'll make the pants, and we'll make the boots. And I'm just gonna drop this since um, I won't be going back to uh, woodcutting for a while. It would have been cool if there was like a like an emote for this outfit. And also it's a bit weird that there's no top for it. Yeah, I also got a magic seed from the birdhouse run. So I planted it or I'm going to plant it once it goes into a seedling. And hopefully it grows because that's a lot of farming XP. I actually had another magic seed in um, storage from Arno. So now we have two magic trees that we could plant. So let's plant this one here. Don't I just look excellent? Yeah. I am now doing Ceramic Vars for Recipe for Disaster. Um, I thought I had to kill the Black Dragon for this quest, which is why I have Magic Gear on, but uh, I guess I just have to kill the Evil Chicken here. Oh, as it turns out, we do have to kill a Black Dragon, so uh, it wasn't a waste to bring all of this. I need Sweet Corn. Um, I don't have any Sweet Corn planted, but I did see a Sweet Corn like plants in Barlamore, so let's go and see if I can actually pick those. Okay, it is over here, so let's see if we can actually pick these. Because that would be pretty big. Here it is, the moment of truth. Oh, we can. I guess it's not really such a big deal though. Um, mainly because sweet corn is so easy to grow. It only saves you like a little bit of time. But I think that's still a pretty cool thing to like know. If you ever need to use sweet corn for anything, just go to Varmore and just get some there. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to death pile. No way. It got destroyed, whatever I was making. I don't think I see it anywhere here. I don't see it. Uh, I gotta make it all over again. That is the last person freed. We only have to defeat this guy now. Oh, and there's a cutscene. We are almost done with the recipe for disaster, but I do still need to do the treasure one, which we will do another time. With the last subquest done, I'm going to call it for this episode, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you for the next one. Goodbye. Oh, and also, happy belated Easter!